Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 8 amazing upcoming 2024 sport touring bikes first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. Three variants of Versus 1000 will be available to European customers in 2024 with standard S and SE models on offer and two new color options available across what amounts to 12 model options. Offering an entry point into the exciting leader class Versus 1000 stable, the standard model of Versus shares many of the attributes of the other two machines in the range including assist and slipper clutch, electronic cruise control, three-mode Kawasaki traction control plus selectable power modes and integrated anti-lock braking. Additionally, like each machine in the range, the standard machine is also available in a number of addition model types from Kawasaki dealers covering Tourer, Tourer Plus, and Grand Tourer making the overall range option an impressive 12 models. A midpoint in the range, the Versus 1000S replaces the analog-style meter of the standard machine with a full-color TFT display that can also be paired via Bluetooth to the rider's smartphone relaying a vast array of information via the Kawasaki Radiology app. As part of an overall specification that includes an IMU enhanced electronics package, the S adopts a dual direction quick shifter plus LED cornering lights and rider selectable integrated riding modes. And from a practical perspective, a large height adjustable windscreen, handguards and grip heaters all feature in the specification. Topping out the three machine range, plus addition variants, is the Versus 1000 SE encompassing all of the advanced electronic, technical and engineering features of the S model adding an extra layer of rider convenience via the adoption of Showa electronically damped suspension. The 2024 Honda NT1100 is the perfect bike for those looking for a bolder style. Despite not having significant changes compared to the previous model, the new version features two novelties. 102 horsepower. Torque of 2.6 kg FM. In this way, the driver can choose between driving urban and rain modes. That's because the Japanese automaker Honda invested in a new suspension, which has an inverted fork and a single arm rear. However, even having a more robust look, the Honda NT1100 is sophisticated and technological. In addition, it has a 100% digital panel that is touch sensitive and a 5.0 inch screen. At first, the Japanese automaker will offer two versions of the Honda NT1100. Are they? Manual. DCT Transmission Consumption 2024 Honda NT1100 Currently, every driver, when changing vehicles, is concerned with fuel-related expenses. In this sense, it is interesting to talk about the average consumption of 2024 NT1100. At first, the NT1100 operates at 20 km per liter of fuel. However, it is important to note that this average may vary depending on how the rider drives the motorcycle. Moto Guzzi V100 Mandela 2024 is an upcoming motorcycle expected to be launched in 2023. It will be available in Bianco Polar and Rosso Magma colors. Moto Guzzi V100 Mandelo 2024 will have a 1,042 cubic centimeters, single cylinder, 72 stroke, air cooled engine that will produce 113 horsepower of power, the 77 foot pounds of torque. The transmission is a six speed manual. The dimension of the Moto Guzzi V100 Mandelo 2024 is 2,126 mm in length, 835 millimeters in width 
and 1,416 mm in wheelbase. Its curb weight is 233 kg, and seat height is 815 mm. It's a new model year and that means new 2024 bikes are coming. Please stay tuned for more 2024 Moto Guzzi motorcycle news, new 2024 Moto Guzzi motorcycles and 2024 Moto Guzzi information as it is released to us. With total motorcycles 2023 motorcycle model guides complete with over 700 new bikes, 2,665 photos from 22 major manufacturers across the globe it's one of our biggest and most successful years. Our Total Motorcycles 2024 Motorcycle Model Guides are poised to offer the same incredible and unique information you can't and won't find anywhere else, all for free, all in one spot. Moto Guzzi unveiled its future, calling the new V100 Mandelo both a turning point and a new chapter in the company's history. Fortunately, the new chapter remains written through the voice of a horizontally opposed, transverse, V-twin although one that is now liquid-cooled. Without the iconic layout, it would hardly be a Moto Guzzi. The new Suzuki GSX-S 1000T looks like a bona fide Kawasaki vs. 1000 killer. Back in 2021, Suzuki stirred the pot with an interesting trademark filing for a new 1000 cubic centimeters motorcycle, dubbed the GSX-S 1000T. It would sit between the GSX-S1000 and the GSX-S1000 GT, serving duty as an inline for adventure tourer to rival the Kawasaki vs. 1000. Though Suzuki has remained tight-lipped since then, it looks like the Japanese giant is finally ready to launch the new Gixxer soon. We say this because the first-ever spy shots of the ADV tourer have now surfaced on the internet, revealing plenty of juicy details. These also hint at an imminent launch by the end of 2023. While we can't use the images, copyright violations for the win, the most noteworthy element in the spy shots is the design. Unlike the naked, the T flaunts brawny bodywork, complete with a massive top fairing and edgy side panels. No, these don't come from the GSX-S1000 GT and feature an all-new shape to set it out from the rest. Also, there's no lower cowl here, as seen on the GT. Other than this, a closer look reveals a new headlight and windscreen. The former has vertically stacked LEDs, reminiscent of the GSX-S1000, while the latter appears to be an all-new unit with manual adjustability. All this time, the latter half of the motorcycle looks exactly like the GT, thanks to the puny exhaust and chunky tail panels. The only addition is the aluminum luggage rack. Like the design, Suzuki has tweaked the riding posture as well. Both the rider and pillion saddles boast thicker padding than the GSX-S1000, while the handlebar now rests a new riser. This, along with the mid-set footrests, should ensure a sporty yet comfy sitting position. Twenty twenty four Yamaha Tracer Nine GT Plus. Yamaha Motor USA officially unveiled the 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus for the American market. It's the newest halo bike in Yamaha's sport touring lineup, boasting features including adaptive cruise control, radar link unified brake system, a semi-active KYB suspension, a 6-axis inertial measurement unit AMU, that works with its integrated ride modes, and more. After its big reveal overseas in 2022, we knew it was just a matter of time that Yamaha's technologically enhanced Tracer 9 GT Plus would make its way to our shores, or at least we hoped. Well, it's almost a year later and, sure enough, the bike that has been previously available in Europe is now up for grabs in the US, Yamaha has pulled the covers off the new 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus, crowned as its new sport touring flagship. That title is due in large part to the raft of updates bestowed on the new model, including an array of rider aids and tech advances like adaptive cruise control and a radar-linked brake system, along with semi-active suspension, integrated riding modes, and new smartphone connectivity. From a consumer standpoint, it makes the Tracer 9 GT Plus the least expensive motorcycle yet to get radar-assisted cruise control and safety systems. Let's talk about the engine first. 
The 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus is powered by Yamaha's liquid-cooled, dual-overhead cam, 890 cubic centimeters, cross-plane crankshaft triple, CP3, engine. Bore and stroke are 78.0 mm by 62.1 mm. Twenty twenty four BMW F nine hundred XR BMW is famous for its super stylish and highly efficient bikes. BMW unveiled its new adventure bike F nine hundred XR twenty twenty four, expected to be launched in twenty twenty three. It will be available in three colors racing red, black with black storm metallic, and light white. BMW F900 XR 2024 will be powered by an 895 cubic centimeters engine that develops a power of 99 horsepower and 67 foot-pounds of torque. It will have a fuel tank capacity of 15.5 liters. BMW F900 XR 2024 will be a six-speed gearbox, a slipper clutch, and a final chain drive. ABS, automatic stability control, and rain and road ride modes are standard, as are adjustable brake and clutch hand levers and a 6.5-inch TFT display. The dimension of the F900 XR 2024 is 2160 mm in length, 860 mm in width, and overall height is 1320 mm, and a 1521 mm wheelbase. The curb weight is 219 kilograms. BMW F900 XR 2024 comes with a combined braking system of both wheels and front and rear disc brakes. BMW F900 XR 2024 offers a fully digital instrument console with an eco indicator, real-time fuel efficiency, gear position indicator, a service reminder, an LED headlamp, and a tail lamp. Transmission duties continue to be handled by a six-speed gearbox. The maximum speed of the bike is 124 miles per hour. A permanent magnet alternator for 16W motor and 12V/12A battery will have been installed in the electrical system. The 2024 MV Augusta lineup includes the Turismo Veloce Luso SCS and RCSCS models which share many similarities. Both are powered by a three-cylinder, four-stroke, 12-valve engine with a total displacement of 798 cubic centimeters cubic inches that churns out 110 horsepower and 59 pound-feet of torque. When it comes to speed, both models are neck and neck and can reach a top speed of 143 miles per hour. Both models comply with the Euro 5 environmental standard, a testament to MV Augusta's commitment to reducing emissions. A commonality amongst multiple bikes in the MV Augusta family is that the frame type is an ALS steel tubular trellis, and the rear swing arm pivot plates are made of an aluminum alloy. The front suspension type is a Saks upside down, semi active hydraulic fork while the rear suspension is a progressive sax, semi-active single shock absorber. Both models are also equipped with an integrated parking brake in the rear hydraulic brake system. One of the standout features of these motorcycles is the smart clutch system, SCS, available on the RCSCS. At only 36 grams, it offers an immediate benefit in terms of ride comfort. You can focus on the road while the system handles the clutch for you. Despite their similarities, there are a few key differences between the Luso SCS and the RC SCS. While both models come with heated grips, Bluetooth, cruise control, a GPS sensor, central stand, adjustable windshield, and the MV Ride app, the RC SCS stands out with its unique sporty look sporting the Italian motorcycle manufacturer's distinctive paint job. The 2023 Turismo Veloce RC SCS comes with a Reparto Course Kit, which includes a sports exhaust and a dedicated control unit, enhancing the sporty characteristics of the bike.
The 2024 Suzuki GSX-S1000 GT intelligently combines the championship performance of its GSX-R1000 based engine with a nimble, lightweight chassis to provide riders with an exciting and comfortable GT riding experience. Here is a grand tourer with sport bike level functionality, avant-garde styling, and an extensive selection of optional equipment like truly functional, integrated side cases. Ready to go the distance, the Suzuki GSX-S1000 GT has revitalized sport touring. It is as if the GT itself understands what performance-minded touring enthusiasts desire, whether heading out on a long trip with a passenger on board or enjoying a sporty solo romp up a twisty ribbon of asphalt. The GSX-S1000 GT's performance is a revelation, its appearance breathtaking, and the Suzuki My Spin connectivity application integrated into the full-color TFT instrument panel provides easy access to contacts, maps, music, and phone communication. Using long stroke, GSXR engine architecture, the 999cc 4 stroke, liquid cooled DOHC inline 4 engine delivers smooth, consistent power throughout its wide power band. This enhances the riding experience, both at the low to mid range engine speeds commonly used in daily riding, and through the mid to high range used when traveling long distances on the highway. Refined and controlled performance is managed by Suzuki Intelligent Ride System, S, I, R, S, technology, including electronic cruise control, traction control and clutchless quick shifting, so passing slower traffic is an opportunity, never a challenge.